Hello, my name is Pablo. Welcome back to my channel. I am tired of watching stupid horror movies. If you watched last week's video, you know what I'm talking about. But this week, I'm watching something that I've been looking forward to for so long. You know, whenever you're in the cinema and you watch a trailer and the trailer makes no sense and whenever it ends, you're like, what's this movie about? It's a movie called Cuckoo and every single time I've watched a trailer for this movie, I'm like, I, I, I have no idea what this movie is about, but it looks creepy and I'm excited and the poster looks really cool. So therefore, I'm excited to watch this movie and finally today it is streaming and I, I want to blah, 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 and I'm so excited to watch this movie and I'm going to be watching Cuckoo because no more bad horror movies but luckily this year we've been blessed with so many incredible horror movies 2024 for horror has been just incredible and I hope today is no exception. I hope that this movie is great. As always, I know nothing about this movie. I'm going in blind, aka the best way to watch a movie like this. I hope I'm not um, as confused as I was by the trailer. I am very excited. I can't wait to watch this movie. I've repeated myself 50 times. Let's go watch Cuckoo. Let's go. Okay, hello, hello, hello. I have watched Cuckoo and that was definitely like the most strange horror movie I have watched all year. I mean that as a compliment. But before I get into talking about Cuckoo, I am not having a good day. Do you ever just go to work and have extremely annoying people, people who are entitled and rude? And how do you kind of like forget about these problems? For me, it's sheer escapism. I watch a horror movie, I watch a movie, and it just helps me forget about things, especially if it's a movie that's kind of like a little bit confusing, a little bit thought-provoking, and it just kind of gets you out of the mindset that you had an hour and a half ago, and Cuckoo was the perfect, like, the perfect movie for this, because I, it was just absolutely perfect for me at this specific time. Every time I see that neon logo light up, and flicker on the screen. I know I am in for a good time because every single time I watch a neon movie, I just, I don't know why. I just really, really, really enjoy them. And every time I see that sign now, I associate this neon flickering sign with good movies. And I'm gonna, I feel like this movie is definitely gonna be a bit polarizing. It's either you are gonna enjoy it or think it's incredibly stupid because I feel like how this movie shares its message and ideas is very, uh, like the metaphor is not very deep, right? But I feel like a lot of people who watch this are gonna be like, hey, that was incredibly stupid. And I understand where people are coming from because this movie is at times messy, definitely very, very strange. But at the same time, it's held down by so many incredible performances. The visuals of this movie are incredible and a storyline like a storyline I've never watched before, so unique to me. I've just never watched anything like this and it worked so well. And okay, let's get into talking <laughs> about Cuckoo. So what is this movie about? This movie is about a 17 year old girl called Gretchen who reluctantly leaves America to live with her father in a resort in the German Alps. Plagued by strange noises and bloody visions, she soon discovers a shocking secret that concerns her own family. And I feel like this is one of those movies, as I mentioned earlier, that the trailer and that the synopsis, you, okay, listen, you just need to watch this movie. If you like horror movie and you like things that are a little bit strange and are a little bit like, what is actually going on on screen? You just need to watch this movie because how do you review a movie like this? I don't even know where to start because there are so many things that happen in this movie. There are so many ideas. Just so much happens in this movie that a synopsis and a YouTube review is not going to summarize and explain what this movie is or what it is about. But I love that. I love a movie that whenever you watch the trailer, whenever you read the synopsis, you just don't know what it's going to be about. It's so vague and it's perfect because if you can't describe a movie in a few sentences, I am there because I love that. I love stories that just have so many layers and this, oh my gosh, this movie has layers. As this story progresses, I found myself just being more and more confused, having ideas because you know whenever a movie starts, you're like, hey, I think I know what this is gonna be about. Maybe I can guess what this is about. But honestly, throughout this entire movie and even until now, it's been like half an hour since I watched this movie, I'm still kind of like rubbing my head a little bit confused as to what just, happened like I understood some of it majority of it but huh? I love a movie that's just straightforward this family goes to a resort there are not many people there and there are very strange things happening kind of like The Shining 
few characters, weird things are happening, and throughout the movie, you're just figuring out what is going on. And this movie really leans into the creepiness and into the very eerie scenes. In this movie, there are scenes that continuously repeat themselves over and over and over again. The character has done something, then it flashes back a few seconds and they're doing it again and again and again. And it feels like you're just stuck in this cyclical nightmare. Like I genuinely, I have dreams where I just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again and no progress is being made and I'm aware that this thing is repeating itself over and over and over again and it is honestly nightmare fuel and scenes like that are incredible horror to me and I feel like capturing that nightmare cyclical feeling is so seldom in horror movies but this movie captures it this movie captures it this movie captures that feeling so, so, so well. And I really enjoy the fact that nothing is fully ever tied up. Like you walk away from the movie with questions that spiral into further questions and it promotes discussion and ideas. And I love that about a movie. Like I love that I've walked away from this and I'm still a bit confused because I'm gonna be thinking about this tonight and probably tomorrow. And that is like a sign that a movie has left a very positive impact for me. But although this is a minor spoiler, I found it very interesting that the movie highlights that we try to justify our control over people, especially like reproductive rights and how people should act in society and what their roles are in society through nature. We use nature as kind of like this foundation of um, expectations and standards. We compare people to animals and we justify what their roles should be based on nature. And this movie pokes fun at that whilst doing that in the movie. And I found it very interesting because like you look everywhere, people are like, in nature, people shouldn't be doing this because it's not natural, it's not natural. Like what, what does that even mean? It is so stupid. And I feel like this movie kind of pokes at that. And it's obviously, as I said, the metaphor is not very deep, but it's a metaphor that you can explore these ideas with. And this movie does that and it does it extremely well. I loved this movie. I. I really, really enjoy this. I Because I've heard a lot of people online be like, it's really stupid, it's really stupid. Yeah, it's a bit goofy, but that's fine. It's a good time, I promise. And one thing to highlight are the performances in this movie. Hunter Schaefer, I hope I'm saying uh, her name correctly, is so incredible as this character who does not want to be in this resort, who misses her mum, who has reluctantly left her home and is going to this strange place where strange things are happening. And she's trying to discover why her family are acting so weird, what is actually going on, and her performances are absolutely incredible. Her performance, her per you know what I mean. It's, wow, it's great. But also to highlight Dan Stevens's performance, he is this very eerie, mysterious guy, and throughout the movie, he holds this performance so well as this like very unlikable character that you're not really sure why you don't like but something deep down inside you is like this guy is shady this guy is shady you should not trust this man from the setting to the music to the performances to the ideas to the discussions i've had in my head um with myself as depressing as that is i really enjoyed this movie this movie is extremely unique and i do feel like it's one of the most unique movies i've watched all year it's definitely one of the most unique horror movies from this year hands down and this movie has just been uh, it's just added to the catalog of incredible horror movies that we've gotten this year and it's great I, I I feel so lucky that we have these incredible movies out right now and I really recommend that you watch Cuckoo because I feel like this movie is very um, split and I want to know what you think of it so if you get a chance to watch Cuckoo please let me know it's finally streaming it wasn't showing in like many cinemas in Ireland so I'm so glad I got to watch this but I really wish I got a chance to watch it in the cinemas but that's everything I have to say about Cuckoo I liked it a lot I thought it was uh, really good if you can't tell but that's everything I have to say thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video goodbye bye bye